What's up guys? Welcome, welcome, and happy green day. Happy green candles day. Holy smokes, it's been a while. It's been a while, so uh, let's take a look at the news. What's happening? Why green candles, you may ask. All right, it looks like Bitcoin. Bitcoin's 1.37% uh, up today at $43,882. Ow, ow. Nice, nice. Good to see it. Uh, the S&P 500 up 20 or 0.25%. Uh, NASDAQ up a quarter percent. Uh, Dow Jones up uh, about the same. And the dollar do up 0.36%. Uh, nice to see it. Ethereum <clears throat> has a little bit of a red day. Uh, but we'll just say it's pretty much uh, zeroed out. Although it did come up uh, earlier today, it almost got up to twenty four hundred dollars, uh, but it's down right now at twenty three or two thousand three hundred fifty four dollars. And uh, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the beautiful. Some say that there's no way that the hex could do this, guys. There's too many clicks to get uh, hex to do this so i'm not entirely sure how there's green candles when the, the when it's too many clicks to actually hit this so uh whoa whoa there it is there it is boys and girls it is crazy today to see it pulse chain is currently up 9.23 percent at four zeros 5.25 uh 0.53 of your sacrifice rate yes that's right that's right if you put a hundred thousand dollars in you would have fifty three thousand dollars now <laughs> so we're good at least we're halfway there halfway there whoa we're living on a pulse chain prayer uh pulse exit is up 11.2 percent today four zeros 1.4 uh let's see 1.88 uh million dollars in volume uh, instead of instead of token 50 cents and it's up 10.7 percent and hex uh, point uh zero zero nine uh there you guys go it looks like on ehex we are clearing a half a penny uh point zero zero five one so it is at a half penny let's go ahead and look at the, the chart uh just so you can see what is happening there it is guys there it is there's the beautiful chart uh let's look at some indicators let's look at emas i love looking at emas I like to take a look at this one instead. It has more data. I know that there's other charts that you can look at that have other data. It's not going to show completely, but it shows close enough to the price. I mean, it's right here. It it, it shows that we're at 0 0.0051. So uh, on eHex, this is eHex. <clears throat> uh, looks like the MACD looks like it's, uh, you know, weaving in and out of each other. Uh, let's see. The orange one right here is the 52. Uh, this red one right here is the nine and then all the way up here at uh, 1.2 cents which really isn't that crazy to get to uh is at the 200 day and look at the last time that we passed uh the last time that we passed the 200 that brought it up we got clear up to uh 12.5 cents guys uh when we got above the 12 uh or this the 200 ema uh that would be nice to see right 12.5 cents and then before the last time well we barely got it right here and it was at 18 cents uh before that we were at about 21 cents and really look at this this is what we want to see we want to see them all flip the 90 ema get above everything uh the 52 ema get below that and then uh the the 200 below that and then kind of takes off like this right uh you can t th that this is an easier way to look at it you can just look at the uh you can just look at the emas how they cross over kind of there you go so this is what happened uh this is the big payday boom it went below the 200 it only stayed there for a couple of weeks and uh so this was what november 20th by december 15th we were already above the 200 again uh looking to make new all-time highs and then uh once it broke here and it couldn't uh couldn't hold it back here in may of 2022 then uh you know we've we've been pretty much underneath it ever since so there it is there's your ta for the day hopefully you guys uh, got a pen and pad out uh there you go hex scout let's see the last seven days we are still down 11.79 percent so uh let's get above let's go let's go higher let's go higher i would love to all right guys so crypto coffee come out uh so some of the uh people are uh complaining or th they see that this uh it, it hasn't happened to me but it looks like on some people's chromes uh the ipfs ipfs links are uh saying that it's an unsafe site and uh you know you have to press uh all these scary looking uh buttons 
to to continue to go trade you know on pulse x uh so what's a good way to do this is you can actually click down it'll say let us know if you think that there's been a mistake you can let them know uh you can actually report the incorrect phishing warning and submit uh the url additional you uh, uh, uh details and uh submit your report with like this guys like let's the, all the people that are complaining on uh twitter i think is so lame guys i think it's so lame like build something try to make it better instead of telling people to go to pulsex.com let's all just tell people to go to goldpulse.com or tell people to go to hexscout.com to do their swaps and stuff like that right like there, there's obvious solutions if they don't want to download the thing onto their computer just there's obvious solutions just tell them to go to goldpulse.com or whatever uh it's that easy i don't understand the uh big big uh go biggest complaints i don't get it all right so liquidy uh you guys know probably know them they're the ones that uh you know i think uh liquid loans i'm not a fan of it but uh they're the ones that they copied this protocol liquid liquidy and uh, they are actually putting out front ends new front ends that you download yourself uh so liquidy so you uh you can run on your computer their front front end so they're pretty much making their own uniswap uh front ends which where have we seen this before i feel like we've seen this and uh, everybody was saying it was a bad idea but now that other people are doing it it's it, it's smart hmm i don't know it sounds like uh this might be the way, way uh cryptocurrency is uh done in the next two three years everybody's just running their own programs on their computer i don't understand why it's that big of a deal all right guys uh you know him uh du Quan. remember du Quan? he's the uh, founder of uh terraform labs uh or luna he'll be reportedly extradited to the united states rather than uh south korea to face criminal charges uh he's already in jail uh so the u.s wants uh faces eight charges including commodities fraud securities fraud wire fraud and conspiracy to defraud and engage in mar market manipulation related to its time at terra uh or on luna uh, the u.s sec commission also charged duquan with defrauding investors in crypto schemes in february all right the collapse of terraform labs in may 2022 if you guys all remember it went to you know horrible it depegged uh the terra usd it depegged from the us dollar and many firms filed for bankruptcy including voyager digital blockfi celsius network and ftx uh yikes so duquan was already arrested in montenegro in march and son sentenced to four months in prison uh for using falsified travel documents he also has been charged in the us uh for his alleged role so what do you guys think i mean i don't uh i don't know what he did I, it, I mean just because you make a bad product do you think that you should uh face all these defraud uh i i honestly don't know the ins and outs of the uh, case honestly uh but if you made just a a horrible coin and i mean you got a lot of people wrecked i get it but <clears throat> is he wrecked i don't know i don't know what the i guess we'll have to look into the uh, case a little bit more because i just think that if you make a bad product and people invest in it and then it goes down i don't know if you were defrauding anybody i don't think you were doing anything uh malicious you might have just made a stupid product right uh and people invested in it that happens all the time you make a you make a bad restaurant you get some people to uh, angel invest your restaurant or whatever and it doesn't work out are you gonna get a fraud charge maybe i'm wrong i don't know uh there's probably more to the story but uh that's all i got for you guys today happy green candle day hopefully we can keep these up i will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow is the stream uh our stream it is at 2 p.m eastern time i will see you guys then hit the likes hit the subscribes i will see you guys there and uh take care everybody